All right, I received this four port Vader recently, four parts from eBay. And from what I can tell, I've, I've powered it on and it looks like it functions, um, except for it's a little problem here with the power on off switch. It's really, um, looks like it's broken, but it, it will work if you play with it. So my goal is to repair this in this video and open it up and see what it's gonna take to, to repair that. So let's do that. Oh yeah, that switch is broken. So you can see I zoom in a little. I don't know how I was getting this thing to work. It's almost bro broke, almost broke right off. It's hanging on by a thread. So what I'm going to do in this video is desolder this the best I can and swap out that switch. And I did happen to pick up a replacement switch. It should do the trick. It's just a matter of popping popping the old one out and putting the new one in and that should be all there is to it for this quick repair. I did pick up recently, I've never used one of these, but I picked up a soldering pump or desoldering solder sucker. So once the solder's loosened, I ought to be able to suck it up with this contraption. So how it works is you push this, you push this down and then you throw it on the solder that's melted and then push the button to suck it up into the unit. Okay, my soldering iron is heated up and I just got to loosen these four pins with the switch that's busted. You know, well, actually it's six, six spots here in the back. So let's see if I can't do that. I'm not very... And I'm a very accomplished solderer, but I'm going to be doing a few more projects like this, so I'm going to have to get good at this. Let's try this middle one. I've done this project once before on another switch. I just didn't record it. That might have worked. Oh, gosh. Gotta, gotta charge it. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. As soon as you see it melting, you gotta... Might be enough to get it loose.
Okay. That took more longer than I uh, that took longer than I expected. And how the switch was in was like this. So I'm going to take the replacement switch and put it in the same way and then solder it on. So I'm put it in. So there's two ways it could go. Go this way or this way, but it goes this way. Based on how this one was in. Just gonna throw it through there if it'll squeeze in. Okay, now it's just a matter of soldering that, re-soldering them in. Soldering it back is a little easier than unsoldering it. Doesn't mean I'm any good at it. I picked up some solder with rosin in it, and I'm just gonna melt a little on here. I don't need a lot of solder. I'm not very good at this, so I apologize. I know it could be cringeworthy. All right, the next step in the process is to go ahead and test out the switch, which is right here. It's not, turn it's not plugged in yet, but we want it to be in the off position. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the RF cable, and the other end of the RF is plugged in to the TV. Plug in the power. And then I have a cartridge handy, Berserk. And then the moment of truth. Haha! -ha. Alright, so now the switch has been repaired. Now I did notice that there is another issue on this unit with the, the TV selector. It's a little hokey, but... That might be a subject for another video if I have to replace that switch, but... Anyhow, it is working now, and now all I have to do is button it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this back in the way it's supposed to go. This is the old switch again. It's hanging on by a thread. I don't know how I was able to make that thing work. I'm going to pull off this little cushion. Throw it on 
the new one. And let's put the other ones on. And then the way I like to do this, see if I can't put this together without busting it again. There we go. And just put the screws back in. Alright, as you saw in the earlier segment, this isn't necessarily the only thing wrong with this unit, but in my mind it's a pretty well, pretty well fixed, you know. Uh, I might have a little thing going on with the channel selector, but um, until it becomes critical I'm not going to worry about swapping that out. I don't, I, I understand that, I, please, how can I say this? Please uh, forgive me for not being the best solderer. Um, I'm not very good at soldering, but I was able to complete this uh, project. And uh, the next step would be to plug this in, and I'm highly confident it is going to work when I do so. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it.